Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform repairs safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. As part of the refrigeration system, the condenser fan motor draws air in from the front or rear of the refrigerator to cool the condenser coils and the compressor. Then it circulates the air back out through the base grill. This airflow cycle is vital for the appliance to work properly. If the condenser fan motor is malfunctioning, the compressor can overheat and shut off, which will cause the temperature in the refrigerator to rise. You should check to see if there are any obstructions preventing the fan blades from turning. If the blades do not spin freely, it's likely that the motor bearings are worn out. You can also use a multimeter to confirm the motor is receiving the appropriate voltage, as indicated on the motor. If the motor is receiving proper voltage but does not run, then the component is defective. Condenser fan motors are usually unique to each refrigerator model. You should enter the full model number of your appliance in our website search bar to find the specific condenser fan motor you need. Before you replace the fan motor, be sure to unplug the refrigerator's power cord. Condenser fan motors are normally found near the bottom of the appliance, behind a rear access panel. To move the refrigerator away from the wall, you may need to remove the base grill and raise the front leveling legs. Roll the appliance forward. On some models, you will need to detach a water supply line from the inlet valve before you can remove the access panel. Shut off the water supply. Unthread the screw securing the water supply line retainer to the rear panel, if applicable. Then use a half-inch wrench or an adjustable wrench to unthread the compression nut to detach the supply line. Be prepared for some water to spill. Unthread the screws securing the access panel and set the panel aside. Reach in and push the condenser fan blade off of the motor shaft. Unthread any mounting screws securing the fan motor to a mounting bracket. Disconnect the wire connector to fully remove the old motor. When installing a new condenser fan motor, be aware you may need to transfer rubber mounts or grommets from the old motor to the new one. Connect the wire connector, then align the motor on the bracket and thread the mounting screws. Align the fan blade on the motor shaft, then push until the blade is fully seated. Reinstall the access panel. If required, reattach the water supply line to the inlet valve by threading the compression nut. Avoid over-tightening the nut. Slide on the retainer, if applicable, and secure it with the screw. Roll the refrigerator back against the wall. If applicable, lower the front leveling legs until they are in contact with the floor. Replace the base grill as necessary. With the repair completed, Turn the water supply back on, if applicable. Plug the power cord back in, and your refrigerator should be ready for use.